In this video, I want to show you how you can combine a number of maps and even charts in a single poster-like document. Okay. What I have here are census tracts for El Paso County, Colorado, um, and I have already um, imported and joined data on life expectancy and some sociodemographic characteristics at the track level. And you can see that data down here in the attribute table. Here's all the new demographic data and then the life expectancy data at the end. I'm going to just close that attribute table just to get it out of the way. Now, the, I'm going to suggest a particular order of things. ArcGIS Pro seems to be a little bit finicky about uh, the ordering of things and it can get a little confusing. So I'm just going to go through this systematically. What I want to do is I want to create a poster consisting of two maps. One map, a map of poverty rate, and then a second map of life expectancy. And then I also want to include a chart, a scatter plot of those two variables. Okay, so here's the process I'm going to suggest. What I recommend is after you've got your data joined, like I have here, I would right click on that uh, shape file of those census tracts, copy, right click on map, and paste. So all I've done is duplicated that data set. Okay. Now what I'm going to suggest you do is go up to the insert menu and click on new map. And that's going to add a new map frame over here. I'm going to uncheck world topographic map because I just find it distracting. What I recommend at this point is you go back to your original map tab, which is right here. Again, right click, copy, go to map one then, on map one over here, right click and paste. All you've done is just copied that same data set into the map one frame. Okay. I'm gonna go back to my original map tab. What I recommend is in this first data set for tracks, I want to use that one for ch my chart. So I'm going to right click and click on create chart and this is going to be a scatter plot. And I'll just go over here to chart properties and the X will be uh, PPOV, poverty rate. That's the explanatory variable. That's It's very common or typically conventional to put the explanatory causal variable on the X axis. And then your outcome or Y variable Will be life expectancy. Okay, you'll notice that these dots are the same color as this box. If I wanted to change that, I could right-click and choose a different color. But um, I'm going to stick with these. Going back to uh, uh, before I do that, notice it's got a legend here, which is nothing more than the R squared, uh, which is Pearson R correlation coefficient squared, and this is translated as 48% uh, of the variance in one of these variables is accounted for by the variance in the other. Okay, So 48% of the variance across census tracts in El Paso County in terms of life expectancy can be accounted for by variance in poverty rate across census tracts. I want that legend to be down here on the, the bottom. So I'm just going to click on this over here and click bottom. Okay, Now going back to chart properties, I'm going to right uh, just highlight and then right click and copy the regression equation that is associated with this fitted line. And the way this translates is our estimate, our Y, predicted value of life expectancy, is equal to 82.7 plus, and then technically a negative, um, minus 0.3 times the poverty rate, our X value. Okay. So basically for every one percentage point increase in poverty rate, we see a decrease in the life expectancy of 0.3 years on average. Okay. And if, if we saw a 10 percentage point increase, if we went from 20% uh, percent poverty rate to 30% percent poverty rate, we would expect um, 0.3 times 10, we would expect a three year decrease in life expectancy. Okay, so that's how you can read that regression equation. What I want to do is I want to just copy that because I want to put it down here later. I'm going to jump to general, just click on those dots, and here's where you can clean things up. I want PPOV to read as poverty rate. I want life to read as life expectancy. 
And in the description, that's where I can paste that regression equation. And you can see that once I hit return, it gets put down there. The only thing I have left to do really is um, in, in introduce a title here. So what I'm going to just say is as poverty rate increases, life expectancy decreases. What you, quite often what you're looking for in titles is uh, a title that kind of captures what's going on. You know, it could, um, it, like here, I'm just helping people understand that as we go across the x-axis, as poverty rate goes up, the life expectancy decreases on average. And so, you know, you could uh, try to come up with a title that kind of captures what's going on. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty much done with that chart. So I'm actually going to, just to keep a clean workspace, I'm just going to close it. It's going to exist over here. So I'm just going to close it. And now what I want to do is I want to format my map. So this one, I'm going to just set this one to poverty rate. So I'm going to right click on this second data set here and go down to symbology. And I'm going to set this to graduated colors. The field is the variable. So this should be PPOV. I'm going to leave all these other things as they are, but I do want to switch the color scheme. I'm going to use this color ramp that is um, accessible for people with color blindness. And the only other thing I want to do, if I look over here, is that it's got two decimal places. So I want to change that. I'm going to click on this icon over here, format labels, and set that to one. Okay. And then the only other thing I need to do is change PPOV over here with two slow clicks to poverty rate. Now, the reason you're not seeing this is I currently have this other one checked, but if I uncheck that, there's the poverty rate map. Let's not worry about that right now. Let's recheck that one and just we'll come back to that one once we get into the layout view. Now I'm gonna to jump to map one over here. And in this data set, I'm gonna do the symbology and set this one to life expectancy. And here I'll do graduated colors again. The field for this one will be life. I'll use the same color scheme but what's interesting is here, yellow means longer life. In my other map, yellow means higher poverty. And so they're gonna be kind of inverse to one another. So what I wanna do here, so it's easier for people to kind of jump back and forth is to reverse the symbol order. Okay, that's not always necessary, but I'm trying to make things as easy for my viewers as possible. So I was just clicking on more and reverse that. The other thing is I see I've got six decimal places. So I need to click on this icon, format labels, and set that down to one, okay? And now I can go over here, two slow clicks, and change this to life expectancy. So I've got my maps formatted, the legends are pretty much cleaned up, and I've got my chart created. So now what I wanna do is I want to, I'm on the insert tab, I'm gonna to go to new layout, and I'm gonna select a style that would work for, um, kind of the maps I've got, how I envision the poster being organized. And at this point, I would start probably with a, a title banner. And I'm going to, since I'm on the insert tab, I'll go to this graphics and text, a rectangular text, and just draw a box for the title banner. And this would be the title of the poster project. Okay. Hit. Uh, once I'm done typing, I can just click outside of it. And then I want to right click on that text box and go to properties. And here's where I can start to clean things up a little bit. Um, you kind of have to poke around, but if I go to text symbol, uh, I can go to uh, appearance and switch this to say about 26 font and hit apply. I can, if I scroll down, I can hit, click on position. I can center it hit apply. Um, if I want a background to this, I want to make this banner a different color. Um, I'll do that in another section, but if I'm going to do that, I'm going to need, I'm going to do a darker color. I'm going to need the text to be a lighter color. So I'm going to switch the text color to a lighter gray. Okay. Oops. Uh, and then I'm going to go back over here. Uh, let's go to general. If we click on this pen here, we can set a background color for the text box. And this is where I'm gonna set it to a dark blue. 
Um, oh, sorry, I didn't. My text symbol didn't change, so I need to go back in here and make sure I switch this to to light gray and then hit apply. Okay. So, um, yeah. So that's how you can create a title banner and whatever you want to call it. And you, you know, somewhere else you can include your name if you want to put that at the bottom right or something like that. But let's get to inserting the maps. We're gonna have to insert two maps and a chart. So let's start with the map frame here. Insert map frame. And you can see I've got two here. This one is from my map, my original map uh, layer area. And then this one is from life expectancy. So let's do this one first. And I realize it only shows up as a dark blue, but we'll take care of that in a bit. Okay, let's insert that. Let's, at this point, we need to move this around and shrink it down. Now this is a little tricky. What you have to do is click on layout and then activate. And that allows you to then move things around. Otherwise, you're moving the whole box around. And I also want to scroll out a little, um, try to get it situated. Something like that would look pretty good. Okay. So then when I'm done, I'll go click on Layout again and Close Activation. And now I'm going to click somewhere else on here. I'm going to go back to Insert, and I'm going to do another map frame, but this one for life expectancy and just do another rectangle. Again, I'm gonna to have to click on layout and activate so that I can move things around, recenter, scroll out just a little bit, try to make them roughly the same size. That's pretty good. And then again, I need to close activation. Now, what, one of the things I wanna do is uh, add legends and stuff like that. I'm going to hold off on that just for the moment. Let's go ahead and see if we can add our chart. So I'm going to click on insert and I'm going to click on chart and I don't see anything. Okay, so this is one of those frustrating little things that uh, ArcGIS Pro throws in our way. Um, one of the things I, I like to try to do is let's just uncheck that one, um, recheck it, go back to our layout tab, and try this again. Let's click on this. And now we see it. So this is one of those little things. Um, I needed to be checked on the map that the chart is associated with. Now the map is just you know, a solid blue set of tracks. But I still had to have that uh, activated, if you will, by clicking on it, then click on chart frame. Can I, I can select that and now I can draw a box to warehouse that chart. Okay. So we still have to get rid of this dark blue. Here's how we're going to do it. We're going to go back to map. And now, now that the chart's in our layout, if I right click on this and set the color to no color, what you're going to see is now we can see underneath to the poverty rate map underneath. This one might need to shrink down a little bit. Um, you can see that my title is uh, too big. So I'm gonna have to go back in to the chart. I'm gonna go back to map, click on the chart, go over to chart properties, and let's go to format, text, uh, legend, uh, not chart title. And let's decrease that text to 12 and see if that works. Okay, let's go back to layout. And now it fits. Okay. Now we still have to do legends. Okay, so I'm going to click outside of that. If I wanted to do a box for this, again, I would just have to you know, click on the properties and um, look around for how I can. Uh, perhaps put a box. If I don't see anything on that, like here's a border, I could put a, see what that looks like. Okay. I could I make it a little bit darker so it matches these other ones, uh, but you get the idea. So let's go about creating uh, legends. So I'm going to, again, click on this map, and now I'm going to legend, legend one, and I'm going to draw a box to contain it. And you can see it's got stuff I don't want. So I'm going to right click on that, properties. 
I'm going to uncheck the show legend title, so that helps get rid of that. And I'm going to go to show properties and uncheck layer name. So now I'm done to poverty. I'm getting there. So I have more things to do. Uh, let's go back here. Um, if we click on the pen, we can do a background. Let's do a light gray background, and I want a little XY gap around the information. Okay. So we're getting there. I still want to get rid of these EP tracks. So we'll have to figure that out. So let's just come back to that. Let's click on this map and then go to legend and insert a legend. And we'll just draw another box that's kind of the same size. Same thing, right click, properties. I'm gonna start over here, uh, get rid of the legend, go into show properties, get rid of layer name. And then I need to go back here, click on the pen, set the background to light gray and give it a little bit of gap. Okay, that one's fairly well set. Let me shrink that in a little. Okay. So coming back to this one, I've got this legend and I want to get rid of the, the sort of hollow EP tracks up here. And one would think you would just right click here and go to properties and search through this to see if you can figure out how to get that to go away. And maybe there's a way, but honestly, the easier way to do it is to go back over here and recognize that this legend that I have activated, you can see the box is activated. It's recognizing the two EP tracks that are in my map section over here. If I uncheck that first one, it removes it from the legend. Okay, so I've got two clean legends, two clean maps, and a chart. At this point, I can go back and I can get a text rectangle, add that, and I can insert text, right? And again, you don't have to say a lot, but you should offer some sort of conceptual framing of what this project is uh, getting at. Um, you know, what do you how do you want people to think about uh, the issues at play here? And so, you know, enough text. You might also be able to include the, the data sources um, for this particular project. It's, it's the American Community Survey 2014 to 2018 aggregate data for the poverty rate, and then the life expectancy data is from the CDC Small Area Life Expectancy Estimates. Um, and if you know, if you want to change the text. Here, I'm going to make this box the same size as the maps. Uh, you would just right click on the box, properties, and you can alter the text symbol. So you can increase the text size as needed and apply it. Okay. Um, and again, if you needed additional you know, text down here, your name or something like that, that, that's what you can do. Once you're done, what you can do then is go to share and export layout. And it allows you to export it as a PDF or any of these other formats. Uh, PDF might work. Make sure it's saving to where you want it to. Um, you can double check. Uh, you can browse. You can just check this out. You don't want it to go into that any geo database or anything like that. You just want it to go into the, the basic uh, folder where you want it to, to be found. And then you would export it. So that's how you can do layout. It's a little involved, but if you take it slowly, if you make sure that you keep a clean uh, window pane, uh, contents pane, and just kind of systematically go through it, you can end up creating a rather well-formatted uh, project poster.